All ready for action? Morning. Morning, Sue. I'm a little bit stunned because Sue Bowman's on time, which she never, ever is for Network it's North. It's only half seven in the morning. I'm not on time for. All right, well, that's good. <laughs> right, good morning, everyone. Oh, wait, man, this is about success coaching. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. That's better, that's better. Right, welcome to my presentation, which is a taster of the seven critical steps to super success. Uh, can everyone hear me all right? Everything coming through okay? Great, okay. Right, introduction. My name is Pete Wilkinson. That's me. I did have a little bit of a panic because I had the same shirt on because I've done that before and everyone just thinks I've only got one shirt, but I've got a slightly different shirt on. My name's Pete Wilkinson. I'm a highly experienced coach. I have an MBA from Newcastle Business School. I'm a certified practitioner of NLP, and I'm an Ironman triathlete. I only say that so you've got a little bit of background, because there's a lot of people out there that do coaching and training development, and they used to be welders and you know mechanics and things like that. So I have done the job of coaching and mentoring people and developing sales teams and managers for a long, long, uh, long time. My website is all the W's and PeteWilkinson.com. My email is the same with hello at the front and my mobile is dead easy to remember. So if anybody wants to give me a ring or have a chat or whatever, the number's dead easy, 07500 776757. So, the seven critical steps of super success. What we've done is I've looked at people who have had success, good levels of success in the past, people who are experiencing success now. And although we are in a time where it's very challenging, I think we also have to be honest that there is an absolute infinite amount of possibilities out there. And we have to be constantly looking at how we can develop ourselves and strategies that will keep us moving in the right direction towards our goals. So these are the seven steps. I'm going to whistle through because we've only got about 30 minutes, so I do apologise, but we're moving, we'll be moving fairly quick. So, step one. Step one on the road to success is taking 100% responsibility. Now, a lot of people will say, yeah, I definitely do that. But you've really got to be honest. So where you are now in your life, and that might be in your life in terms of relationships, in terms of your business, in terms of your health, your fitness, your diet, whatever it might be, where you are now is a direct result of your actions. Okay? So the equation, which is E plus R equals O, is that... Any event that you've experienced up to this particular point now, plus the response you chose to take from that event has led to the outcome that you're now experiencing. So if you're currently in, say, your business, experiencing things, outcomes that you don't like or are not ideal or not where you were, it is as a result of the response to an event. So, for example, uh, on a personal level, I damaged my knee had a, two years ago, snapped my knee, smashed the ACL and, you know, major problems. I couldn't run 20 miles anymore and I was upset about it. That was the event. The response I chose was to look at what I can do, which is still ride a bike for 100 and odd miles. So the outcome is I can still keep fit in a certain way. So the event was quite important, but the response I chose was a positive one. So in your life, you'll have situations in your business where... You're thinking you're taking responsibility, but you're probably not. And this is about... Was that, oh, was that in the way, Sue? Go on, then. Yeah. Does everyone like my glamorous assistant, Sue? She's doing a great job. Thanks, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> so, when we think about it, here's some questions for you to think about. If you were to take 10% more responsibility for your life, you would do what? If you were to take 10% more responsibility for your health and fitness, what would you do? If you were to take 10% more responsibility for your effectiveness at work, what would you do? And there'll be things, that if you're honest with yourself, there'll be a direct mail letter you've been meaning to get out. There'll be a guy who you met you were going to follow up with and you didn't do it. There'll be, uh, I don't know, an exercise class that you thought, oh, I could go, but I haven't really got time. I'd rather watch, you know, two hours of X Factor or whatever else there is on television. So there'll be situations that you have come across events, and, and you, will, you will be choosing a certain response, and it will lead to an unfavorable outcome. And it is down to yourself to take 100% responsibility. This is about being proactive. Very, very important. Until you accept that you are where you are for the decisions you've made, you can't go any further forward. So that's the first step. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah? Okay. 
once you've taken the 100% responsibility and you know exactly that it is up to you to determine the level of success in any field, not just wealth, it can be any field, is down to you. Once you understand that, the next step is to build what we call definiteness of purpose with desire. This is where you would look at your, your life and you would come up with what the major definite purpose you are here to do. So for me, I've thought about it, and my purpose is to, to motivate and inspire professional people to achieve great levels of success in their lives and business. That's what I'm here to do. Don't just mean to do, I mean in general. So once you know what your purpose is, and then you start working on your purpose, and you're working on purpose, so you're sort of doing what you are supposed to do, then, you, then everything else will just flow from there. If some of you are not quite sure what you're supposed to do, a lot of people are like that, and you might find that you haven't quite got your way, that's because you haven't got your definiteness of purpose. When you have your definiteness of purpose and you start building it with desire, that's when you start to get, you know, things start to happen and you start to work automatically. We can all visualise or, or, or we can all think of someone now who we're working on purpose. You know, Richard Branson is working on purpose. Murdoch is working on purpose. They know what they're supposed to do. They found out what they hate to do and they're actually doing it.